Hi y'all. Today we're talking about eating a good breakfast. You know, sometimes you get tired of having bacon and eggs or ham or eggs. 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 I know I do, <laughs> but I know I have to get that protein mm -hmm. in the morning or I'm just sluggish all day. Yeah, that's very true. So, I have put together a well, it was a scone recipe, and the reason it's a scone recipe is because it uses baking soda rather than baking powder, okay? So I've put together a scone recipe using almond flour, mm. um, honey, or you okay. can use agave nectar. Go on. Or you could substitute something else, you know, a, a, a sugar substitute if you chose. Right. But I really like the honey. And um, then I chose some fruit, and I picked blueberries and apples. And so, oh, oh yeah. And then um, for a little surprise, we made some with chocolate chips. That's right. So it's all the same recipe, just divided two or three different ways. It's really easy. So we're going to make that today. We're going to show you how fun it is. And the kids, her youngest son. Mr. I don't like nuts. How Can't many, tell the difference. How many did he eat? Four. So, <laughs> now if we tell him what's in it, he'll probably never eat so. another one. But we're not going to tell him, are we? No, we're not going to tell him. So, so stick around. <laughs> See what we're up to. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Hi folks, we're back and we're going to mix up these, I don't know what to call them, they're really not scones, but it is a it's, scone recipe. The first time she made them, she, they ended up more like cookies, and so I call them a scookie, but now we're putting them in the muffin tins, so I guess maybe it's a scmuffin? Scmuffin, whatever. Smuffin. Anyway, somebody come up with a name for them because they're so good. They're just, they're so exactly, good. they're just good. We're going to start just, with two whole eggs. Okay. And what we're going to do is mix all the liquid things together, and then we're going to work on putting the, um, uh, uh, I just went totally blank. We'll the put in the dry, dry ingredients. <laughs> I don't know. What, well, what's wrong when I made this, just to show you just how, you can go ahead and dump, and I'm, I'm going to Okay, talk. this is honey. Yeah. How much honey is that? I think it's about a quarter of a, quarter cup. Of a cup. We'll have the recipe up on the, on the website. Yeah, we'll have exact. Um but when I made these in my mixer, I just made them in my standing mixer at home for the kids. And literally, I just, I didn't even do wet versus dry. I just dumped everything into the mixer and went and it worked beautifully. This is a third of a cup of coconut oil. Coconut. So this could be paleo then. It could be. It could be. So if you're on a paleo diet, then you can absolutely. This is, and you may want to get the whisk because of okay. this. This is baking soda and we want to make sure it's broke up real well. But it's, a, oh, yeah. it's about a half a teaspoon okay. of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Okay. So, so we're just going to whisk that together? Yeah. And then this is okay. this is what I like. I love cinnamon. I do, too. I, I put cinnamon, unless I'm making it for a friend of mine that can't have it, I put cinnamon in pretty much everything. That and I, I kind of just shake thing. until I think. <laughs> I, you know, we love it so much in my house, I'd probably put that entire thing in there. But well, <laughs> that looks like a tablespoon. I don't think we want quite that much. Oh, but I almond, <laughs> almond flour is um, bland, so it's not a problem. That honey and the cinnamon mm -hmm. together. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now One of these days, they're going to invent smell vision smell -vision. Actually, you know what? No, they don't need to. You guys just make this at home, and you can smell it for yourself. <laughs> and I'm going to put, um, it's two and a half cups okay. of uh, almond meal. Now, is this blanched almond flour, or is this the one that's got the skins? This is blanched okay. almond flour. Okay. And so I, You can buy it that's got the skins ground up in there, yeah. too, for a little extra fiber if you want it. I kind of pat it in. So, so it's you're, packed? Yeah. You pack it? Yeah. I'm going to stick this in the sink, and I'm going to use the trade off to the okay. wooden spoon, I That'll think. Okay, that'll work. And then, there you go. Cool. Two and so a half. just mix that in there. Just mix till it's well mixed. And this is another great thing. You know, you can make these with your kids. This is also a great thing to take to a uh, to a brunch. We have a lot of church functions 
that we you know require desserts and baked goods and stuff like that and well and you know people like I've always said if it looks just good people are going to eat it and if it tastes good they're going to go back yeah um one of my recipes one of our meatloaf recipes that I took to church just recently mm-hmm. There were parts of everybody else's left. Mine was gone. Oh, they, yeah. you know, and had they known what it was, and, you know, you that know, it was. That's kind of the point of all this, right? That our right. family doesn't know the difference. Now, right. about a cup of blueberries. Now, yesterday when I was making this to start with, I divided it and I put apples in one and blueberries in the other. And then, and then I, we I made some home. chocolate. Yep, I went home and made a chocolate chip batch. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Again, use your imagination. If your favorite fruit is peaches or apricots, oh, I bet. <laughs> oh, a peach one. Ooh, oh yeah, forget about it. Apricots are my favorite. There we go. And that's, uh, good. that's how I know when you know the end of spring. It's going into the first of the summer is the mm-hmm. apricots. I yeah, love apricots, apricots and peaches. Are, um, so, so that's good. We'll be back in just a minute to show you what we do with this. Yep, we're going to transfer this. Well, well, we'll just show you. We'll just show you. Make it easier. <laughs> we'll be back in a sec. Well, we're back. We're going to fill this uh, up with the mixture here. Okay. And actually, a nice healthy scoop mm-hmm. because um, this whole, this is what... Um, sticking and sticking and sticking. There we go. <laughs> um, there's eight, three well, eighths. There's, eight, there's, about, 24, yeah, there's 24, here. 24 here. And... I just give it a little more to make them nice and healthy, mm-hmm. you know. Well, this recipe will make up almost two pans of these. Yeah. Right? So, and let me tell you, if you don't already have these things in your kitchen, a mini muffin pan and a cookie scoop are a bariatric patient's best friends in the kitchen because we do everything. We, we do recipes like this, and we also do things like um, mini meatloaves like this and... Well, I mean, and you know, when you are works. serving a dessert for a bariatric patient, whether it's ice cream or gravy. <laughs> because <laughs> gravy is a dessert. Gravy is a dessert in Texas, you know. <laughs> it is in my house anyway for my so, kids. So if you're serving something that you want a small portion and you want it to kind of look nice, well, this is a good way to do it. They're inexpensive and... It makes a pretty presentation, too, when yeah, they're all done. And I'm keep knocking those well little that's all right you're at a weird there. angle so yeah. but these we'll things are just oh, just smelling them right now i know the smell of between the, the, the cinnamon and the, and the almond it's just beautiful it's just beautiful and another really I'm great sorry. thing about this recipe is it is gluten free yeah and i like <laughs> and i'm not necessarily a gluten free person but every little bit that we can eliminate mm-hmm. just makes us healthier um, and it's really hard, too, to find gluten-free recipes that don't have potato starch or rice flour or, you know, things like that that, you know, that really we don't need a whole lot of anyway. Well, if and you're sugar. low-carbing, mm-hmm. if you're low-carbing rice and... gluten-free, and, it's, it's hard sometimes. Well, low-carb does not mean rice and potatoes. Right, so that's... Right. A lot of people think because it's low-carb... Or because it's gluten free, it's low it's carb. Low carb, and, and that's not necessarily that's not true. true. Gluten free eating is not necessarily healthy eating. You can eat gluten free and still eat as much junk food as you like because there is plenty of junk food out there between potato chips, gluten free crackers, gluten free cookies. You you can find junk food that's gluten free. So I don't know why I'm having such difficulty <laughs> with this. Let's turn it this way and see if that helps. Might help a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to have a pan full She's here. She's old. Forgive her. Watch it. <laughs> Who was it that called me an old geezer? That would be me. <laughs> her day's coming. And paybacks are you know what. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that when I'm changing your diaper, old woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember when you're down there doing it. <laughs> oh, my oh we love each other. Yeah, we do. So, anyway... <laughs> For those of you who want a treat, this is one. This, this is, is definitely a treat, and it is it is so good, and it is so versatile. Because, yeah. like we said, you can use fruit in this. You can use here. I'll do that. You can use baking chips. Well, you know you what? Know. I thought about putting some um, 
white chocolate and macadamia nuts. Oh, yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah. You know, my husband is the sound guy, and I think I just saw him drool a little bit over there. So, because yeah. that's his favorite cookie. So, I think I think that would be one of my favorites, All right. too. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to enjoy. <laughs> So y'all so stick around. We're gonna, well, we're going to bake these off at what temperature? 325, right? Yeah, for about 15 to 18 and, minutes. Well, sometimes, and it may take a little bit longer. You want them really good and browned on top and not jiggly when you touch it. Right. So, all right. So we're stick gonna, around and see what we're up to next because we're going to munch. We're going to show you what these beauties look like. So we'll be back in a second. Hi, folks. We're back, and we finished with our Schmuffins. <laughs> we have three varieties here. Chocolate that. chip, apple, and blueberry. Mm. And honestly, my favorite is the apple. Yeah. I like the blueberry specifically. Yeah. Of course. And I think, you know, I think your kids loved the chocolate, didn't they? They did. They absolutely so there's a lot the of choices, a lot of things you can do with it. Mm -hmm. And um, just remember that it does take a little watching to make sure you get them brown properly. You don't yeah. want them burnt, but and this you want is, them well done. We said we want them really brown, and this is about where you want to see them. Yeah. So, all right, so, let's give them a taste here. I think so. You want to taste the apple? Want I'm going to go for the apple. I'm going to go for a blueberry. Let's see. Watch, look at, open this up and look at the apples inside. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So, mm. Those beautiful blueberries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. deal. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. That cinnamon, the honey... The almond. Mm, mm, mm. That is just for a breakfast meal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You couldn't resist. Obviously, someone else can't resist either. Mm -hmm. They're that good. <laughs> we'll have to make a double batch. Mm -hmm. And these are also, you can freeze these as I'll talk with my mouthful. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> You can freeze these, and you can pop one out, and you can either thaw it on the countertop overnight, or you can pop it into the microwave for like 30 seconds because warmed up with just a little bit of butter on top. Warm is really good. And so good. you could have this with a bowl of yogurt, mm -hmm. some fruit. Another thing that we figured out, too, is you can add some uh, coconut to this, mm -hmm. and you can, you know, those, those, those cookies that everybody likes to buy once a year that have the coconut and the chocolate Add a little bit of coconut and a little chocolate chips to those. It's as good as that cookie, if not better. <laughs> yes. And uh, they're simple. No, they're very easy. Good. They're so easy to make. Yeah, really. One bowl, five minutes. Throw it all in, away you go. So in 30 Throw minutes, in stuff. from 30 minutes from stop to finish, you have breakfast meal. Mm -hmm. and you, if you're a single person, you have it made for the whole week right here. Right. So. All right. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Come, come back soon. <laughs> Don't forget to click that like button. And if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button because it really helps us out and it helps out our channel. And don't forget to tell your friends if you like what we do. Share the word. Spread us around. Tell everybody you know. <laughs> and stick around. And see what we're up to. What we're up to. <laughs>